cool. I have a panel right after this, or a signing thing right after this, in this room, with that guy. Oh. Um, and tomorrow, my 3 <laughs> panel uh, that says something about J-pop to E-pop, that's a lie. It's actually a ukulele concert. Uh, so, I'm not sure how that happened, but please come and let me sing songs to you. I will also have CDs available for purchase uh, all weekend. I look forward to meeting you all. Team Valor! Woo! Yeah! I love her even more <laughs> The next guest we have is known as, for her role as Blake Belladonna and Ruby, and also Dr. Emily Gray in the hit web series Red vs. Blue. Please welcome Aaron Zach. The loudest little thing I've ever been on. Hi guys, I have no idea what to say. I've never done an opening ceremony. You've you've popped the, the opening ceremony cherry. Hi. Hey, um, nice to see you. I'm excited for this weekend. No idea how it's gonna go down. No idea if I'm gonna go in the water park or not. This is crazy. We're at freaking. What is this place? <laughs> this is nuts. You look amazing, by the way. Um, so yeah. Thanks for having me. I'll probably see y'all around this weekend. Got some panels and stuff later tonight. At like five, I think. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you. <laughs> Next people you may have heard of they had something to do with a tiny little dating sim called Hey Outful Boyfriend. <laughs> Please welcome Hatamoa and Damarushi and their amazing translator, Justin. <laughs> from Japan. I'm an original creator of the fiction dating team Hot Hole Boyfriend. <laughs> I'm so excited to come to Daishokon. I'm looking forward to see you at our panels. See you later. Thank you. Hello, I'm Tamarashi from Japan too. <laughs> <laughs> So I can't believe that I was able to like be called uh, and you know drawn over all the way to Wisconsin and it's just an amazing feeling. So today we got the autograph uh, signing, and tomorrow uh, she's going to be live painting for us. So please come to the panel. <laughs> Torchwood, and probably the coolest early uh, vampire sci-fi show that I like, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Please welcome James Marster. <laughs> I just had a Subway sandwich with Moxie from Borderlands, <laughs> and I didn't even know it. <laughs> You're screwed now. I'm in love with you. What are you <laughs> oh my god, don't tell my wife. <laughs> no, I seriously love conventions. I've been coming to conventions since I was 13 years old, uh, dressed as Spock. <laughs> I, uh, I had a perfect pointed ears, I had the best phaser at the convention because I made it myself out of balsa wood, I had a tunic that my sister helped me sew, and a big blonde afro because I couldn't control my hair back then. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, I was beautiful for the first time in my life. And chicks dug me because I had the best phaser. <laughs> and I was hooked. Uh, I love convention to this day, I, I think that everyone's beautiful, everyone's safe, and you can be whatever you want to be. And that's like, that's my little slice of heaven. And so, whatever you guys can do for each other to make each other safe and beautiful, do it. And we're going to have a great weekend. Thanks a lot. Next two guests we have are some of our cosplay guests. The first one is Nathan DeLuca, who's known for his armor work and best known for his cosplays as Kate Malenko and Nightwing. Hello 
Wisconsin? It's so great to be here, guys. I don't know what to do with the things like this, so I'm just gonna say, your guys' is mac and cheese. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna... Huh? I'm gonna try the beer. Shitty beer. Shitty beer. Spider-Man? Okay. Okay, that, that makes it a lot more sense. Because <laughs> this isn't Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, um, I'm teaching a bit of armor making tomorrow. Uh, I don't remember when, but I'm sure you all can find me. If anyone wants to just talk shop or hang out, that'd be awesome. I don't really know Wisconsin very well, so it's awesome to see y'all. The other incredible cosplay guest we have is Super Casey, who is a Midwestern cosplayer and is best known for her cosplays as Natsu, Robin, and Dawnstar. <laughs> cosplaying panel on Saturday, and I'm just going to be roaming around, actually, so I'll be just doing, doing some live videos on my Facebook, so come and find me, get in the videos, and yeah, we're going to have an awesome time this weekend. Alright, last but not least, please give a warm round of applause to our cat-loving LGBT plus YouTuber who is best known for her work in mindfulness and self-compassion, and her YouTube series, I Don't Buy It, Elena Fender. Miss Fender on the internet. I'm a YouTuber. Uh, on my channel I talk about sexuality and mental health. So I have two panels um, on those topics. One is tonight on sexuality at 8.30. Getting the nod. <laughs> um, I would love if you guys would come to that. Tomorrow is the mental health panel and then on Sunday I have one that's just a Q&A to hang out. I'd love to see all your beautiful faces. Um, I have never been to DeshoCon before. This is my first year. I've actually never been to a con that had cosplay. You guys are blowing my mind with your costumes. I'm just super excited to be here, and I hope to see you all on my panels. to check out all of their panels, come to autograph signings, and say hi to them as you pass them in the hall. Thanks, guys. So next what we have up is actually very important. Um, he's going to be hard to miss this entire convention. Oh. This is going to be Nathan Fetter. He's our head of security. Oh. He's really tall. If I could have him come out on stage and just overwhelm us with his height, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, one of the heads of security. The other one is John. He's not here right now. Um, so, what security does is we make sure that this weekend is fun and safe for all of you. Uh, we have a we have some rules that are printed in the guidebook. If you have any questions. We also are in charge of, wet, or of uh, prop check, uh, so if you have any props, just take them to the control room and one of the tables outside of the control room, uh, there will be a prop check. There will be a sign that says it, so if you get lost, just look around. I'm sure you'll find it. Um, if you have any concerns or like something happens, look for a security vest. If you can't find one of us, just ask any of the people who are wearing these shirts. Uh, they will help you with any issues that you have. <laughs> Safety is cool. <laughs> so, next up, we have... Yeah, let's do him. So, have you guys heard of our action room? No. Have you guys heard that we're having a Nerf arena this year? Yeah. Aaron, a.k.a. Batman, on the stage, and he is 
going to talk a little bit more about Action Room for you guys. Hello, Daisho Khan. As Olivia said, I am Aaron, aka Batman, and I run the wonderful Action Room. The Action Room is where you go to go and basically fight your friends with foam. Weapons are 100% safe. We test them to make sure that you won't get injured or anything along that line. We got a wide variety of new weapons this year. We have axes, we have hammers, so if you want to be Thor, go for it. We have quarterstaffs, shields, swords, you name it. And if you feel you have the skills, we have four tournaments going on this weekend. We have one tonight where it's 1v1, you get to use whatever you want. Tomorrow is the 4v4 at, I believe, 1 o'clock or 2, something along that line. Check your guideline book. We also have an archery tournament, which is very big. You actually get to shoot the foam tip arrows at a target, and we evaluate your score. And then on Sunday, we have the gentleman's tournament, which is a 1v1 single blue sword. Then, on top of that, lastly, as Olivia mentioned, we have the Nerf Wars this year. This will be being done during the rave. We have, I think, 12, 10 or 12 weapons. You are also allowed to bring your own as well. We gotta look them over to make sure they shoot fine and everything. And this is an experiment, so come and make it a success and enjoy your time here, okay? Woo! Somebody really special to Daishokan. Um, somebody who has stuck with us throughout the years. Um, you've probably seen him in our tabletop gaming room, um, and we'd like to invite him on stage. A huge sponsor, a huge contributor to our convention, Pat from Gnome Games. And he's bringing a friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's everybody doing at DiceCon today? This is our ninth year, and it's your ninth year, right? So we've been with you guys since the beginning, and every year we bring something new, something different, something special. We've got the giant life-size Catan, one of three in the world, a couple of life-size chess we play magic, we play Pokemon, come out and get your picture taken with Pikachu, he's ready to rock all weekend long. And how, do we have any Star Wars fans here? Well, we talked to the folks at Fantasy Flight into doing something special. We have the world premiere of Star Wars Destiny happening tomorrow afternoon at 12.30. I've only got 24 seats, so if you really want to play that game, come see us. But we've got events all weekend long, plus for the first year, 24 hour gaming. We will be able to play. You'll be able to play tabletop straight through until Sunday night. You gotta let us close for an hour here to wash the tables down and you know put things back. But thanks to the folks at the Kalahari and, and the Daishokan staff, we're gonna be able to offer at least part of the room being open all weekend long. So come on and play with us and thank you guys for inviting us back. <laughs> he is just as soft as you think he is. <laughs> um, up next, I'd like to invite a few of our staff members, um, a part of an incredible team that we have that run one of the biggest cosplay contests entirely by you in the audience. So you guys get to help us pick a really cool winner. And our final theme prize this year is for Pokemon. We call it our Poke Trophy. And the Poke Trophy is just a bunch of Pokemon merchandise that you guys can win if you have the most awesome Pokemon themed cosplay. Now Sarah's going to talk about our other really cool event this year called Cosplay Go. Okay, so we have 
a new uh, event going on with the cosplay department called Cosplay Go, and this is a scavenger hunt that any of you guys can participate in. It starts on 4 o'clock on Friday, and it ends on noon on Sunday. What you do is that there's a cosplay grid list, and it has all sorts of different cosplays on there, all sorts of different types of random things. And it kind of looks like bingo, in all honesty. And then you can pick that sheet up either in Cosplay Island, or you can find it online on the Dice Show website. And what you do is that you go around Dice Show Con, and you try and find different cosplayers that are on this list, and you take a picture with them, but you have to ask their permission first. Once you take a selfie with them and you cross off all of the different cosplayers on the list, or as many as you can, you can bring it into Cosplay Island and we will check it off for you. And the first three people that bring in their list of filled in, uh, list, uh, filled in cosplayers, the first three get a bag that looks just like this and it comes with a random Pikachu plushie inside. So that's what, so those are the three winners of what you can do there. If you are sadly not one of our first three participants that are able to get our big prize, we also have participation buttons that also coincide with the different Pokemon Go teams, like Valor, Mystic, and Instinct. So, um, turn those sheets in. You can turn them in and start today at 4 o'clock until 8 today, tomorrow at 8 o'clock until 2, or Sunday 10 o'clock until noon. So, huh? in Cosplay Island. So, come on down and try to win. One of these awesome bags, it'll be a lot of fun. Thank you. All right, so I think we have two more things to go on with, but our last people will be talking to you that's not me or Missy. Um, do you guys like to dance? Awesome. So I'm going to, he's got it. So I'm going to be bringing out our coordinator for our rave this year, please. Welcome on Alex and Hype Man West. What's up, Patrick? Come make some noise! So I hear y'all like raves. We got an awesome one for this year. It's gonna be off the chain! That's right. It's called Dream Wars. Here to give it to you. Is this year's rave master? Give it up for Alex Moore! How's everyone doing today? So um, we we have decided to remake our rave this year. Um, it's been switched from two nights to just one night this year, but I know it's it's really sad. I'm really sad about this too, but um, this does allow us for. Massive changes, as you can see here. Isn't this stage awesome? We got we got subwoofers the size of many humans. Like we got a little preview of the soundtrack last night without the bass, and like just those speakers alone, like that's enough to fill this room like ten times. It's pretty amazing. Um, we're also unveiling a new stage uh, to host our DJs in. It's actually located like right over there. You can't really see it, but. We're going to build it tomorrow night, and it's going to look amazing. Okay. So, um, if you guys don't have any plans tomorrow night at 10 p.m., and even if you do, drop those plans and come to win. <laughs> because we are going to be just dancing throughout the night. We're, we're also featuring international DJs. Um, we got DJs flying in from Japan, Australia, the UK. So, please come out and check out the rave, um, 10 o'clock till approximately 3 p.m., but we could probably go later if everyone's still dancing and alive, hopefully. Yeah, thank you guys very much. Thursday night 
Um, our staff worked really hard to partner with AMC Theaters to provide Jaisha Khan badge holders to a free midnight showing of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Who went to that showing? Was it good? Yeah, we worked really hard to make that happen for you um, and looking to partner with AMC more in the future. We have a, a showing on Saturday, 3.30 p.m., Boy and the Beast. Anybody with a Daisho Khan badge will be able to get into that um, while supplies last or while seats last. So once the theater is full, it's full. So get there if you want to see it. It's a really great chance to see a really great film um, in a theater. And if you haven't, do it. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. All right. Um, other cool things, Pat mentioned, 24-hour tabletop gaming room brought to you by him and our staff. Um, so enjoy that, please. We'll be having events running all night for you. Um, for those of you who want to try D&D &D and different games, you're going to get a chance to do that at night whenever you want. So that is pretty BA. Um, and then I also wanted to touch on something that we revealed last year, our Anime Lab viewing room. So I know a lot of you have probably been in anime viewing rooms before. Mm -hmm. um, what is really awesome about our anime lab is we have stations set up in there for you. You get to choose what you watch. It's your own, thank you, it's your own personal theater. So I don't know what, what is better than that. So check that out. That's again, another 24 hour room. You can be in there all night. Oprah. And 